I'm Emily Davenport, and this is Techno. Today, we're figuring out how much memory and storage you need for your computers and mobile devices. But what exactly is the difference between memory and storage? Well, memory basically allows a computer to multitask. It's the working space a device uses when it's on. It's also called RAM, random access memory. And the more you have, the more programs you can run at the same time. Storage exists offline. It's the place music, documents, pictures, videos, and other data is kept. The more storage you have, the more files you can archive. The amount of both system memory and internal storage you can get depends on the device itself. Smartphones and tablets have similar memory profiles, though technical specs seem to change by the hour. As a general rule, the more memory a device has, the more efficiently it can flip screens, stream video, and the more apps it can run simultaneously. Unfortunately, it's pretty difficult to add memory to most smartphones or tablets. Usually, the only option is to upgrade to a newer model. When it comes to internal storage, smartphones and tablets range from 8 to 64 gigabytes. Lower capacity models are great for everyday ordinary use. But you might consider upgrading to more storage space if you use a lot of third-party apps, carry big photo or music libraries, and if you shoot tons of video. But laptops and desktops remain the workhorse machines and offer far more memory and storage than mobile devices. Most modern computers boast four or more gigabytes of system memory, which is more than enough for general use, like editing text documents or photos, browsing the web, and streaming video. If you're a serious gamer, the heavy 3D graphics of high-end desktop games will require an upgrade to six or even eight gigabytes of RAM to ensure smooth, uninterrupted gameplay. Along with greater system memory, today's laptops and desktops don't skimp on storage space either. Even entry-level machines come with 250 gigabytes or more of internal storage. Most everyday users won't come close to maxing this out. But if you archive a lot of video, or if your work requires large raw media files like video editing or 3D graphics, then you may want to bump up the storage capacity to a terabyte or more. So what happens when you do run out of storage space? First, try looking to the skies. Cloud sync services like Apple's iCloud, Microsoft SkyDrive, or Dropbox let you store files on a secure website. And you can access your content from anywhere. Most cloud services offer two gigabytes of storage free and charge a small monthly fee for additional space. It can be a great solution for tablets and smartphones, but there are other options out there. Some smartphones allow users to store apps and data on removable SD cards. You can buy a few gigabytes for under 10 bucks. Simply swap cards and you can pretty much store as many apps, songs, and videos as you can carry SD cards. And they're tiny. And for laptops and desktops, there are a wide variety of thumb drives that plug into USB ports, and portable hard drives that can add from a few hundred gigabytes up to four terabytes of additional storage. When it comes to memory and storage, you don't want to pay more for what you won't use. But you also don't want to wind up with an under-equipped device you'll soon outgrow. The trick is to assess your current needs and pick solutions based on what you actually expect to use. For Techno, I'm Emily Davenport. See you next time.